I can't believe we finally made it here uh, from our first date at Starbucks to me awkwardly asking you out and to be my girlfriend in between first and second period at your locker. Uh, to all those long days and nights that I was here in Georgia and you were out at your dream school in California. We have truly grown up together and have worked hard to finally make it to our wedding day. I'm so excited and happy to finally call you my wife after knowing I was going to marry you for a long time. Sorry. Some people have to wait a long time to find their soulmate, but I was lucky enough to meet mine at 16. And I thank God every day for that. I don't know if you remember this, but he told us that his girlfriend was coming over and I did not believe him. <laughs> he, <laughs> Stefan was big into exaggeration. She got out of the car and I'm gonna try to get this right, but the first thing I heard was, hey boo. hope that Stefan would find someone who was smart, driven, and supportive, and um, I know 100% that he found it in Brianna and that he married the right one. Seeing Bri and Stefan grow over the years as individuals and as a couple gives me faith in true love. I've had the opportunity to see them through the ups and downs, the high school and the cross-country long-distance relationship, and now I've gotten to see them begin the next chapter. Stefan. Thank you for treating my best friend so well. Thank you for loving her, respecting her, cherishing her, and helping her to be the best version of herself. So with, when she went out to USC, she was dating Stefan. And I said, this, I don't know, this might not work out because of the distance. But I'm going to tell you, Kurt and Sloan, you have raised a beautiful man and I can't tell you how comforting it is to know that he's been by her side every single step along the way and I really Leah and I both really do appreciate that Stefan I have never ever once was afraid of what would happen with my daughter in your presence because I know you have her heart in the right place and she is madly in love with you. And so are we. Oh. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look good too. Let me see you. You're so handsome. Are you emotional already? Yeah, yeah, right. Memories have blurred and it's hard to pinpoint the exact moment I first met you nine years ago. Who knew during our first Starbucks dates and on the marching band field, I was getting to know my future husband. Even though I can't pinpoint when I first laid eyes on you, I can distinctly remember when my heart felt whole. It's hard for me to grasp the details of my life before you were in it. I love our story. I love that we fell in love young and so quickly, and we've never gone back. You're my biggest supporter and my best friend that I would never be able to live without. I cannot wait to share all these amazing times we'll have together and battle through the tough ones. I'm so lucky to have you in my life uh, as a partner and as a best friend. When I reflect on our relationship, I'm so proud of the life we've built together. Whether it's date night out at Gypsy Kitchen or watching Georgia Sports with you, we find the joy in the little things. I can't believe how after nine years, I've fallen in love with my high school sweetheart more and more every day, every month and every year. You love me for me. You've never tried to change me, but have only encouraged me, challenged me, and protected me. You are my safe place, my biggest cheerleader, my drama radar, <laughs> <laughs> my laughter medicine, and my daily motivation. But with our faith in the Lord and His plans for us, I know our future is a bright one together.
to love you unconditionally, just like our Heavenly Father loves us. As your husband, I vow to always be there for you during the hard times and to celebrate the great times. I promise to protect you, fight for you, and support you always. I will never leave you. When you fall, I will push you back up. I promise I will always be your best friend above anything else, and I will continue to make you laugh even when it's not appropriate to laugh. <laughs> And, and finally, I swear I will work really hard to be able to turn off the Braves game sometimes so you can watch Grey's Anatomy. Uh... Today, I promise you many things. And while I know the road will not always be easy, I promise to love you unconditionally, just like our Heavenly Father loves us. As your wife, I vow to always be there for you during the hard times and to celebrate the great times. I promise to protect you, fight for you, and support you always. I will never leave your side. When you fall, I will push you back up. If the dogs lose, I promise to pour you another beer. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I'm so happy the rest of our lives finally begins today. We can't wait to be your wife, and I love you. Um, I love you so much, and I, I'm, I'm really happy you chose me to be your life partner and, and, and share the rest of your life. Inasmuch as you, Stefan, and you, Brianna, have consented together in holy matrimony and have before God in this company of witnesses committed your lives to one another and have exchanged vows and rings. It is by the power vested in me by God and the state of Georgia that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Stephan, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>